Welcome everyone to the Women College World Series, home of the Salt Lake City Regional. We're doing this again. I'm back in Utah, back here in Salt Lake City. Utah just keeps hosting in all their sports. Football did great this year. Basketball, women's did great this year. Softball team is doing amazing this year. And we are at the Salt Lake City Regional, home of Utah, Ole Miss, Baylor, and Southern Illinois which is pretty cool. Uh, you had an SEC team, a Big 12 team, a Pac-12 team, and Southern Illinois, I don't I think they're Horizon. I don't know what league they're in, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, welcome to the Salt Lake City Regional. We're gonna show you around what the field looks like, the facilities. Uh, we're doing five games in three days, could possibly be a six, but it's madness, madness season. The winner of this regional will go and play the winner of the UCLA Regional, which UCLA is one of the second best team in the nation. They're picked right now to make it to the College World Series in Oklahoma City. Let's go check out the facility and look around and have a great regional. So welcome to the first round of the Women's College World Series, Salt Lake City Regional. First off, I want to say this is a great complex, probably one of the top softball complexes. I know the SEC has their own stuff, or for but for Pac-12, Utah, man, what a view! You're, I mean, you're on top of the hill here. You have the uh, medical plaza right here, and you have a place where people can picnic and sit and watch a game from a great view right into the stadium. Uh, yesterday we had the first day. Utah basically packed it, packed it here, packed it with fans. And uh, I'm expecting another big pack today. We got Old Miss versus Utah. This is the second day. Didn't film the first day. Possibly we're gonna break this up between the days. But this is a big game. The winner of our first game here, Utah versus Old Miss, will go on to the championship game. It's a double elimination bracket. So three games today. Uh, there's will be a loser bracket game, and then we'll move on to tomorrow, which will be Sunday, which will be a loser bracket game or a championship game in the morning. The loser bracket team wins that. Then you'll play another game for to end up to the second side of the regional. But on that note, let's take a look around of this field. It is beautiful, it is pretty, it is a top field, especially in college softball. One of the top views in college softball. Let's take a loop around. Okay guys, what a day. Where I just left you was this morning at 11 o'clock in the morning before our first game at 12. It is 1 a.m. right now. Uh, our first game went three hours, our second game went four hours, and our last game went three hours. Welcome to college softball in playoffs, where it just takes a super long time for some strange reason. It went longer than Major League Baseball games, which made no sense. The championship game is now gonna be Sunday. It's Utah versus Ole Miss. Got a ton of friends that went to Ole Miss and a ton of friends that went to Utah. I'm kind of hoping Utah wins. From a TV perspective, I really want Utah to win because Utah, if they win the first game, we're done. If they lose, they got to play another game right after. So double elimination. I'm going to get some sleep right now. We're going to be back here at 9 a.m. And I'll show you other cool things in the morning. But I'm going to go to bed. So good night, everyone, and get some sleep. Good morning. Woo! Championship day. That is really cool. Look at that. A ski team. I didn't even know Utah even had a ski team. I guess with those mountains, you gotta have a ski team. All right, day number three. Let's go make some TV. 
Welcome to the TV compound. Got a big nice truck here. Right behind the stadium. Very close today. And you got all the little concession stands. Woo, that looks good. Day number three, game number six. Could go in the game number seven. Utah versus Ole Miss. Ole Miss has lost once. They actually lost to Utah. This would be another rematch. Utah had them yesterday. Let's hope for only a game six. I don't really want to play game seven. Now the game starts at 12. Got here at nine in the morning. We faxed out. It's been busy. Softball is very tricky when it comes to TV. Switching back and forth. It's not like baseball where someone gets sub subbed out and that's it. Or a new pitcher comes in. A new pitcher can come in in softball and then get subbed right back in flip another position. It's like playing charades with a bunch of uh, players, which is pretty annoying from a TV perspective because our systems are not built to flip people out like that back and forth. And uh, that's why you need more eyes. Thanks to our stats people, uh, our stats team, looking over the game, following every move and moment that happens, helps me and the truck uh, and our graphics team make decisions. Thank you guys for uh, being a third eye out there for us. 12 hours of TV yesterday was a lot. We got to do another one. Welcome to the championship game. And welcome to the University of Utah Salt Lake City Regional Championship Day. So the madness has ended in Utah won game number six and they move on to the next round of the regionals. Uh, UCLA had an upset. Uh, they lost their first two games. So Utah's going to host again next week, which means I actually might be coming back here. I might as well just live in Utah. It doesn't make it. I've been here for all the March Madness beginnings. I might as well just buy a house. Ole Miss, they put up a fight, but Utah just overcame them and demolished them. So on that note, uh, I missed my five o'clock flight. I'm gonna head out tonight, and I don't really know what, what I'm gonna do for the next five hours. I don't have a car, so I guess I'm gonna kindly explore on my phone and look up information for a couple of my games coming forward, study some stuff coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed this tournament. Hope you guys like kind of a little bit behind the scene background of softball. Hopefully one day I do the actual uh, softball championship in Oklahoma City. Kind of the one big one would be really, really fun to do. But my big one I want to do is the College Men's Baseball World Series in Omaha. That's a big one I want to check off the bucket list. But on that note, hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out uh, my whistle box and Mike for Success. Think about our sponsor, My Whistle Box. My Whistle Box is a doubly encrypted service that allows you to keep your private information safe and exchange information securely between parties. My Whistle Box offers you e-signatures, privacy, notes, whistle pages, a ton of other cool features, and a better alternative than email. So if you're using email to send or receive private information, stop and start using My Whistle Box. Sign up today to get started with your free account. No payment required. There's no reason to not start today. Happy whistling. If I end up here next week, I'll add on to next week in the next regional. If not, this video is ending right now. So cheers.